Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Vivid Days. Welcome back to my channel and for the people that are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you're going to find lots of back catalogue and helpful material in here that's either going to inspire you, answer questions or you're going to give me some advice or information to help spread with the art community. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. That really helps support my channel. If you want to showcase your art, pop over to my Facebook group. We'd love to be inspired by you. And what a great way for you to showcase your creations of any type. And last but not least, these have been created for my Etsy store. I've sold out. So if you do want to pop over to my Etsy store, there might be some treasures there that you wish to purchase. Now that all that goodness is out of the way, I hope wherever you are, you are safe and well in the world. As you can see, I'm working with some silicone heart most <laughs> molds. It's that time of the year. And I normally do hearts of the ocean. So I'm going to continue with those. I might come back and do some colourful ones. But at the moment, they're going to be the ocean inspired little ones because those have all sold out. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I really want to say on that. So these originally were in a tray. I've cut them to size just so that they're easier to fit on trays and move around. And I'm going to use my super sparkle white Oop. within there to give a little bit of shimmer so there'll be a little bit of clear the super sparkle white in there and then i'm going to rotate just with three little colors which is going to be there uh, just for you online open water blue there is also going to be a resin eight metallic pigment which is the cobalt blue and last but not least there will be the resin eight pigment which is the turquoise and so that should give a nice little contrast and as usual my casting craft will go in there a little bit so the first stage i'm going to mix up 400 mils worth of resin i'll come through and add a little bit at the base and then i'll drip a little bit of the dark lighter and the turquoise no right no real um precision here it's going to be abstract and then I'll come and put the white through it, blast it with a little bit of heat, let it settle, and then we'll demold them. And then I'll come back and add a top coat, which will just have the casting craft over there. But these make cute little gifts for people, which can be freestanding art, or you can turn them into little magnets. But what a beautiful, simple gift idea for you to give to your loved ones, to um, practice with different colours as well, or um, to give them as gifts yourself. So yeah, that's enough of me let's get on with this i'm going to put my respirator on now and a little bit of music to help protect my lungs and we'll see you at the demolding stage bye bye
Hey, Sharon from Vivid Days. We are back to demold these and do their top coat with a little bit more white, but I couldn't resist. I came in and had a little go um, at seeing what these look like. And I love how these have come out. Now you can't see as much in this light. If I hold it over there, quite transparent. So what I'm gonna do is doll very carefully and then just add a tiny little bit of casting craft white here just to make a white area pop so it's suggestive of an ocean it's not going to be real life waves or anything like that but if i just come in and highlight just to that corner there give it a slight blow let the casting craft do its thing it should in my opinion bring that white that has sunk to the end but we're going to demold these and i can't wait to see them i've got my resin mixed up i've got no more than 40 mils i'm hoping that's enough if not i'll have to mix some more up all right
Hey, Sharon from Vivid Days and we are back for review time and I just love these. These will be my Etsy store. Um, so by the time you're seeing this, they should be there unless they've sold. But if you're interested, pop over there and you can use these as freestanding art. Ooh, should stand. Ooh, maybe not. Um, you can we can turn them into a magnet. We can have them on little trestles. There you go. So let's bring you in and have a little close up on some of these. Now each one of them has been made with the same materials. Um, the only thing I've noticed when you're doing them like this, because you're not filling them to the top of the mould, although I've tried to make sure they are the same depth, they're not quite. And everyone's going to be unique. So let me see if I can show you these. Now, I love the effect that the casting craft has created by swirling around up and down and that transparency. And you can see each and every one of those colours. Hello, Hades. And then coming in and doming the top and just adding that tiny little bit of casting craft has helped that really stand out. So we'll come back and I'll shine my torch behind it so you can see what I'm referring to. But that's number one. It's not a perfect heart. Look at that. The side is slightly uh, warped towards the right. But other than that, Bobby Dazzler. Oh, hello, Hades. Yeah, there's nowhere for you to go. It's trying to get out my window. <laughs> and then this is another one. So I think where that side is uneven, a little bit of super sparkle white just adds that magic there. Something you have to be careful of when you're using silicone moulds that you're going to cut. Uh, but I don't mind it. I think it still deserves a home. What do you think? Look at that. Lovely. Oh, I've got a bit of my nail varnish there. See, that came off. <laughs> I just needed a little dust there. That's off. So tiny little air holes. One at the bottom there, but nothing sort of major. It's just such interesting features everywhere. Look at that. Can't wait to get my torch behind it so you can see the full glory of what I'm seeing. <laughs> just stunning. Maybe the daylight would have been the best place to, to show you them. But have a little look. Anyway. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Remember to um, visit my Etsy store should you wish to purchase these. The links are in my description. Or join my Facebook group if you want to showcase your art because that will inspire us and hopefully we will inspire you. And come back and see me for the next video. But I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you love these colours I'm working with. And I'm going to say I'll see you on the next video. And until then... I am going to just show you some close-ups now with the torch behind so you get to see the colours I do. Bye-bye.